In this lesson, I'll show you how to solve electrical problems by the Laplace transform. This is question three. The question reads, the initial current in an RL circuit is one amp in the direction shown below. The switch is closed at time is equal to zero. Find the current. Take a look at the circuit and notice that the current is traveling in this direction. We have to use Kirchhoff's voltage law here, which states that the sum of the voltage that drops across a resistor, an inductor, and a capacitor in an electrical circuit must be the same as the voltage source applied to the RLC circuit. The voltage source here is 24, so I'll write down 24 is equal to, the voltage at this resistor will be represented as R times the instantaneous current, this is Ohm's law, V is equal to RI, and over here the voltage will be represented as the inductance times the rate of change of the current with respect to time. Next what we will do is substitute the values that is found in the circuit and rearrange. What I mean by that is the resistance here is 12 ohms, so I'll write down 12 times I plus the inductance is 4 Henry's, 4 times di over dt. Now since we're using the Laplace transform in this example, I'm going to switch this with I prime. It's the same thing. Also, before we move on to the next step, the factor 4 is common amongst all three terms. If I divide this by 4, I end up with 6. If I divide this by 4, I end up with 3. And this becomes simply i prime. So I'm working with 6 is equal to 3i plus i prime. Now what I'll do is take the Laplace transform of each of these terms. So I get the transform of 6 is equal to 3 times the Laplace transform of i and the Laplace transform of I prime, for that I'll use this relationship where the Laplace transform of a function, its derivative is equal to S times the Laplace transform of, in our case is I minus I at zero. And we're told what that is, it is equal to one. You see how it says initial current? So let me show you what I mean. Plus S times the Laplace transform of I minus the current at time zero, which in my case is equal to one, minus one. The Laplace transform of a constant, in our case six, is six times one over s, and that relationship is also shown right here. This is equal to three times the Laplace transform of i. My next step is to isolate for this, so I'll leave that the way it is. This term will remain the way it is. I'll factor out the Laplace transform of i next, and I'll take this negative one and bring it to the other side in the next step. So now we have 6 over s plus 1 is equal to, I'll factor out the Laplace transform here of i, bracket 3 plus s. Dividing both sides by 3 plus s gives us the expression 6 over s times 3 plus s plus 1 over 3 plus s. At this point, what you would have to do is inverse each of these expressions. So if I inversed this expression, this frequency function, we would have to use a table of known Laplace transforms. I don't have that with me right now, but I do have these for reference. Take a look. We have a over s times s plus a. This expression models this expression. Our a value is equal to three, but the six should equal to three given this model. So instead of six, we can change this into three times two three times two. And if I were to take the inverse of this expression, I would get one minus e to the power of negative three t, and this is being multiplied to two. That takes care of this. Now let's move on to this one. This expression models one over s minus a, except we have s minus a, but at the bottom we have s plus three technically. I can rewrite this so that it is s minus negative 3. s minus negative 3 is the exact same thing as s plus 3. Therefore, our a value for this term is negative 3. So let's take the inverse. The inverse is e to the power of at. This should be negative 3. And this is being added to the other term. This is equal to i. If we expand this, we get 2 minus two times e to the power of negative three t plus 
e to the power of negative 3t is equal to i. I'll combine these two terms. This gives me 2 minus 2 plus 1 is negative 1. So I have 2 minus e to the power of negative 3t is equal to i. And if we were to graph this, we would end up with something that looks like this, where it starts over here. That's 1, 2. And this represents the current in amperes. And it would maximize at 2 amperes as time increases infinitely. And so there you have it. That is how to solve electrical problems by the Laplace transform. Make sure to watch question four for another example.